Okay, so about like three weeks ago, I did a collection video about my whole sprint car collection. And um, in the past three weeks, I've gotten a whole bunch of 124 die cast and a couple of 164. So I just thought I would make a update video because one of you did suggest one or ask for one. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So for the 124s, we have the 2005, I think, Danny Lasoski, um, the 2003 Metallic or whatever you want to call it, Steve Kinzer, um, another Danny Lasoski, and the 2003 Sammy Swindell, the, the beef packer one. Now, here is all of them lined up. You have the Sammy Swindell, the Metallic Steve Kinzer, you have the 2005 Danny Lasoski, and the 2004 Danny Lasoski, I think. I mean, they're pretty nice. I gotta say my favorite out of all of them, it has to be the Steve Kinzer. I mean, the Metallic looks just so amazing. These are by far the best 124 die cast out there. The Extreme die cast or whatever it's called, these are seriously the best, um, in my opinion at least. I gotta say my second favorite is either between the 2003 Sammy Swindell or the 2005 Danny Lasoski. I mean, I always love this, de this design. This one is also signed, so yeah. I mean, I think I got a good, pretty good price on it. It was like 90 bucks, so I think I got a pretty good price on it. Um, It was really the only one I saw on eBay. I rarely see these ones on eBay, but you, you never really know what to expect there. Now, this isn't actually all of them. I'm still waiting on one more, and that is the 2001 Steve Kinzer. Um, here's a picture of it. Still waiting for it to come, but I just thought I'd update you guys just right now because I felt like it. But yeah, here's all of them. One last good look. Very nice looking die cast. I highly suggest you guys get some of these. These are the best. In the future, I plan on getting those glass cases specifically designed for these 124 die cast. Um, but for now, they're going to stay in the boxes because that's pretty much the, the safest way, honestly. Okay, for the final part of this update, we have the 164s that I picked up for um only $13. Now, for that, I can believe. This is only the Platinum Series uh, Jack Hahn Shield. I mean, usually goes for around that price. But this one right here, this is the r, r Terry McCarl. This is before they started using this mold. The r, r started using this mold. They used the mold from Racing Champions. So this whole batch of these cars from R&R &R are extremely rare to find. Some are easier to find, but you're going to at least spend a good bit of money on these. So I got this in pretty good condition for $13. So um, yeah, that th that's pretty awesome. I l I've always wanted this one and finally got it. So yeah, um, I say this was the biggest hit out of the whole collection, honestly. This, seriously. That's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. I just wanted to do a quick little update video on the all my stuff I've gotten in the past three weeks. Gotten a lot. I'll still update you guys on the community page. Just, you know, follow that if you want to. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, see ya.